The Prophet Muhammad والسلام, once suspected that a Jewish boy in Medina was the Antichrist. The boy's name was Ibn Sayyad. So he took his companion Umar radiallahu ta'ala with him to go and question the boy. The boy was very uh, disrespectful in his answers. And Umar radiallahu ta'ala anhu was very angry. He said, O Messenger of Allah, give me permission. I cut off his head. The Prophet said, No, Umar. No. If he is the Antichrist, you cannot kill him. And if he is not, then it would be sinful to kill him. May I repeat that? So it sinks in. If he is the Antichrist, you cannot kill him. And if he is not the Antichrist, it would be sinful to kill him. Implying that the possibility exists that he can be the Antichrist or the Jah. But that possibility could only exist if the Antichrist has been released into the world. And so implicit in this event is a message which, be, which is being communicated to the world that the release of Dajjal, the release of the Antichrist into the world took place in the lifetime of Prophet Muhammad If he is released into the world, then where is he? We now come to, in the Sahih of Imam Muslim, a companion of the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam, who was, he was Christian, he became Muslim. His name is Tamim Dari. He came to the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam and narrated an event which occurred. The Prophet listened and then he said to the people, sit down, I have something to say to you. Tamim Dari came to me and told me something about the Antichrist which confirms what I have been saying to you. And now we get the story from the blessed lips of the Messenger of Allah. What is the story? Tamim Dari and some 30 or 40 of his companions went on board a ship. And then the storms came and blew the ship for a whole month before they arrived at an island. And when they got on shore, they got off the ship and they went on shore. They were confronted by a very hairy creature. Plenty hair. So much hair, you could hardly tell which side is head and which side is tail. And then this creature spoke and said, I am Jassasa, 
جساسه سپای سورت الحجرات ولا تجسسو دو نوت سپای سو دیس از این آیلن ویل آلار پیپل هو اکسل این سپای And then Jasasa pointed to a monastery. There's someone waiting to see you there. So they rushed to the monastery. And there they found this young man, powerfully built, with curly hair. His hands were chained to his neck. His feet were chained. And this man began to question Tamimudari and his companions. A number of very interesting questions. But I don't have time to tell you all of them. And then he said, I, I am Dajjal. I am the Antichrist. And when I am released, so up to this moment, he's not as yet released. And when I am released, thank you. I will enter every town and every city. But I will not be allowed to enter into Mecca and Medina because the angels will bar me. And so now we know, up to this moment in time, The Antichrist is not as yet released. But he is on an island which is about one month's journey away from the Arab world by sea. An island which has excellence in spying. And so now we know that when the message came from the messenger of Allah, the Dajjal has been released. We know that it is in this island that he's going to be released. And it is from this island that he will launch his mission to impersonate the Messiah. And to eventually rule the world from Jerusalem. Question. Which island is it? Before we attempt to answer the question, let us turn to another hadith. Another statement of the Prophet alayhi salatu waslam. which is of crucial importance. It is also in Sahih Muslim. He said that when the Antichrist is released, he will live on earth 40 days. Yawmun kasana. One day like a year. Yawmun kashahar. One day like a month. Yawmun ka juma'a one day like a week. Wa sa'iru ayyamihi ka ayyamikum. And all his days, implying all the rest of his days, would be like your days. When his day is like our day, He would be in our dimension of time. At that time, of course, he would be, said the Prophet, a Jew, a young man, powerfully built, with curly hair, ruling the world from Jerusalem, the way the world is now ruled from Washington. But where would he be when he's released on earth? In a day which would be like a year. And where would he be on earth? In a day which is like a month. 
And where would he be on earth in a day which is like a week? Do we have answers for that? 